As you can tell, my sailboat Carl is in dire need of some fresh bottom paint. But unfortunately, going into marina to haul out could easily turn into an indefinite corona trap during these crazy times ruled by a global pandemic. But hey, how about taking advantage of my boat's twin peels and make this project happen anyhow? Good old Carl is sitting happily on his keels. The tide just started to go out, the birds are chirping away, and the chitros are as vicious as ever. Time to grab the grinder, start the generator, and get a move on. It's definitely lovely when it's already 30 degrees outside and you have to put on long clothes. Love you. It's day two of uh, dry falling slash yard fun. <laughs> and today is probably the hardest day or the worst day. And it might actually turn out to be two days of this, but we'll see how fast it goes. Today we're prepping the hull. Yesterday we scraped everything and today we're sanding with um, 80 grit. Well, actually we're grinding because all those barnacle feet are pretty intense. So I think the sander would probably not make it through and um, I'm starting here between the keels because that's the area that's going to get wet first so this is the uh, work that I usually leave for last because it's the most annoying but it has to be done first so <laughs> we have enough time to actually do it. The Jenny is running so we can run our power tools and I'm going to get back to sanding now. Grinding. I think we might have to take a tiny little break. Seems to be raining a bit. Yeah. Just a light drizzle though. Mm, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> It's kind of pissing on our parade here, but we're making the best out of it. Oh, right. Good. So, yeah. I can already see blue sky. Now it's running much better. Day two of yard is over. My lovely, lovely worker bees are back home on their own boats, Joanna and Yerba Buena. And I'm sitting here by myself, I'm Carl. I'm at a little tiny house on stilts. Well, I'm gonna have a beer now and enjoy the sunset. pretty cool. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there's so many sounds. It's like twigs cracking. That was loud. Well, there's twigs cracking and other very loud noises that sound like big animals. Um, 
there's frogs, and there's cicadas, and there's like a bird that goes like, ooh, 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 a bit like a, ooh, I'm not sure what the, like an owl, but I don't think it's an owl. And then there's a um, luciernagos, little light uh, glow bugs. In the trees, you can see them glowing. Last night there was a massive bat inside Carl, so I think tonight I'm gonna close my companion way, just not to have any more critters. I'm just waiting for some scalloped potatoes that I made to cool down and then I'm gonna have some dinner. I made those so I have some lunch for tomorrow because when I'm in yard or working on the boat and especially if I have other people coming to help me I like to have some food prep so I don't have to think about oh my god people are going to starve all day. This is so magical. It's so cool to be like kind of like it's like camping. Let's see what tomorrow brings. The weather doesn't look too grand. It looks pretty much like it did today. So probably a good idea to get an early start. 5.30. Let's see how that works out. Good morning, Carl. start mixing up some primer. Today I'm gonna do a little test run and a little spot on Carl because the specs of the paint recommend at least minimum dry time of the epoxy primer of 12 hours and Total Boat has told me totally not to go below that but since I'm stubborn I'm gonna give it a try. But I don't wanna ruin my whole howl, nor do I wanna use up all the good paint for nothing. So I'm gonna do a little, maybe square meter, where I put the epoxy on. And I do wanna make very sure that this is understood. This is not recommended by Total Boat. This is not what you should be doing. I'm doing this on my total own responsibility. I was warned and I ignored the warning thinking I know better. No. <laughs> I just want to give it a try and if it doesn't work out then it doesn't work out. Does anybody know how to get this thing off? <laughs> Smarty pants can't even open the paint. Okay, now the epoxy has to cure for 15 minutes. So in the meantime, I will prep a piece here on the boat where I already sand it. How about here? I'm gonna wash it and then acetone. Okay, so this is the paint trial. It's sticking pretty well, I'd say, so far. Yeah, nice. We'll see what happens when it gets splashed now in a bit. But yeah, seven hours of dry time, so 
five more hours to the actual total boat um, recommendations. And the anti-fouling was pretty much dry in an instant. Okay, it's not too bad. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> nice job, Chica. Yeah, yeah. We're done. Done, 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 done. Well, Paul is still working. <laughs> I'm done now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> nice job. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Jenny. We have been grinding the hull now for three days. Well, what dry time we've had these last days between tides and crazy rainstorms. We tried to keep our smells up during those rainy patches and make the best of it. Five minutes 30 to fill up 2.6 liters of water. We made sure we caught all of this precious rainwater and I gave Carl's little belly an extra cleaning rub. Well, it was hot and it was humid. It was surely dusty and crusty. But I think we're finally done with the worst part of this project. Well, it's time for a beer and maybe also for a little personal spa day. But more about that. I don't think so. Here are the dog. Oh, feels good. I should have done one earlier. Uh huh.